What is up YouTube? Carlo here. Welcome to the vlog. This is the channel where we talk about sneakers and tech. And for this episode, we're going to review one of the sneakers that I've had in this box for a while now. And I'm sure a lot of you have been have seen it and I've actually unboxed it before. This is my review of the dun -dun -dun -dun, Air Max 270 Premium. Now, just in case you guys haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please make sure that you do so because we are giving away brand new Kobe AD NXT 360s. Here you have it. This is the one in yellow, the Lakers colorway. Look at that cool red, the violet. It's so cool. It's so sick. It's so epic. Yeah, we're giving it away. So we're giving it away. All you have to do is subscribe to the channel, follow me on IG, hit the link down below because you have to leave a comment. Favorite moment of Kobe Bryant. Subscribe now, follow me on IG. The Air Max 270 of Nike was such a special sneaker for several reasons. Number one, it featured the biggest and tallest air unit that you guys see here in the back. And that's the reason why it's called 270 because of the 270 degrees air bubble that you have here. Secondly, it's also Nike's first focused lifestyle sneaker using the air technology that they have uh, with this pair. So having said that, those are the main reasons why the Air Max 270 was such a special sneaker for them. Now, I won't go through any more the, the detailed history of the Air Max 270, the different sneakers that birthed it and the combination around it as well as the, you know, all the usual stuff because I've covered that in the past. I've reviewed several pairs of the Air Max 270. I'll leave, leave a link down below to all of them like this one. This is the Air Max 270 Dusty Cactus. And I've always said that the Air Max 270 Dusty Cactus was the best Air Max 270 that ever came out for me. At least that's my perspective. Now that all changed today. This is the Air Max 270 Premium. And simply put, this is a more stylish, luxe, and elegant take on the Air Max 270. Because at the end of the day, you still have the key components. You still have the giant air bubble here at the back. You have that same double, I think it's super cushiony foam that you have here for the midsole. And you have the same outsole. What really changed is how they implemented everything from the upper. So instead of the mesh material that you guys see here or the flyknit material with the flyknit fly knit version, you have this super premium, nice quality leather material that stretches the entire upper. So it is crazy premium and it looks so nice and so good because of how they did it. So you have that perforated leather across there, across the entire upper. And what makes it even more cooler is the quality of the leather that they used at the back. I don't know if you guys can see it. It just, it, it's, it's the stiffer kind, so it gives excellent support for your heel and at the same time, it gives that really cool aged look. Now, apart from the leather material, which is so good, they also changed the way that the lacing system was done and even the tongue. Because if you take a look at, for example, the Air Max 270, it's like a boot construction. Uh, the tongue is attached. For this one, the tongue is actually detached. So as you guys can see there, it's more a tra more traditional take on what sneakers uh, look like traditionally. And if you also take a look at the lacing system, they put like gold eyelets with brown like tags over here. Uh, that keep the laces together, which just looks so cool, as well as the color matching for the logo of Air Max 270 here at the tongue tab. I mean, it is just so aesthetically pleasing to the eye. In short, and apologies for the language, it just looks so damn good. And that, I think, is well, the hallmark uh, beauty and the reason why anybody would want to cop an Air Max 270 Premium because it is by far the nicest looking, the most elegant looking, the classiest looking Air Max 270. This is the type of sneaker that will turn heads, not because it is loud, because it will turn heads because it just looks so good. And that I think should be one of the aesthetics that designers and sneaker creators should go for. However, there are some cons and I'll, I'll briefly touch on them. If in terms of comfort, I feel that this is the third one in, in all of the Air Max 270 models. The most comfortable version is definitely the Air Max 270 Flyknit. It's uncomparable compared to all the others. So if you want maximum comfort, if you want daily beaters, if you want sneakers for travel and stuff like that, go for the Air Max 270 Flyknit. If you want like a little bit cheaper, you can go with the 270, you know, traditional model model with the engineered mesh. This one is not as comfortable as the Flyknit. Uh, it is a little bit tighter, especially near, near the uh, middle midfoot, but it's still pretty good, uh, everything considered. Now, if you want to trade away the comfort, and if you want to trade away all of that for amazing style and look, then you go for the Air Max 270 Premium. Why do I say that? The 
forefoot and the midfoot because it's leather and this is just a theory after wearing it for a few days is it doesn't have as much give as mesh material or fly knit material so traditional leather of course is more constricting traditional material doesn't give you that much room to move even so and, and it is a bit tighter so if you have wide feet it might be a little you know problem especially if you go true to size so having said that i'd really suggest that you go either half a size or even a full size up depending on how wide your feet are however everything considered comfort style i still end up going back to this pair over all the air max 270s i've owned reviewed and tried because it's the perfect balance of all it's not super comfortable it's not the most comfortable but it looks so amazing it looks so you know it's it's a it's a pair that you can proudly wear to work it's a pair that you can just proudly wear to dates even because it just looks so good i mean <laughs> there's no other there's no other adjective to describe it but that it just looks so friggin good now there are different colorways of this but it is not available here in the philippines that's probably what you guys are thinking hey where can i buy it can you get it at soul academy can you buy it at commonwealth can you buy it at nike uh, no to all so <laughs> if you want to get one you you'll have to either get it from stock x or your favorite reseller now i got mine of course from shoe freak ph he's the guy i usually go to when it comes to sneakers that are not available in the philippines and i want to make sure that they get legit pairs uh, at a reasonable fair price so that's where i actually ended up uh, copying this air max 270 premium i think i can't remember the exact price i think it's somewhere around 9,000 plus which if you ask me is still a good price considering that the mesh material sells for 7.5 the fly knit version sells for a little over 8.5 so paying like nine six or a little below ten thousand for this one given the quality given the material give, given the i mean just the overall aesthetic and vibe of the, of the shoe for me uh, it's really cool can i just add and this is more of uh i don't know if to those who are after compliments with their sneakers i've worn a lot of sneakers this year and a lot of office mates notice them so I, i've really worn a lot from the off-whites to the new balance sneakers to the cold hands to all the nikes to the jordans to the ultra boosts and i can honestly say that in the last 24 hours hours for example that i wore this this easily ranks as one of the most complimented sneakers that i've ever worn in the workplace so I think that's a big thing to say about this pair because I've worn a lot and I've worn louder sneakers. And the guys who complimented it were the ones who are not your typical sneaker heads, are not your typical hype beast people. They're just people who appreciate well-designed, elegant, classy looking pairs of sneakers. And that's where this fits the bill. Now just to add, if you really, really want loud sneakers, loud Air or whatever 270s, you might want to check out the Air Force 270. <laughs> this is the Safari version. This one is just hella loud and will just turn heads. So again, to recap, if you want maximum comfort, go for the Air Max 270 Fly Knit. The middle ground is the Air Max 270 usual version, again, the Dusty Cactus. If you want all style and elegance and just really good aesthetic, go for the Air Max 270 Premium. But if you want a head turner, a neck breaker, a sneaker that will just grab attention left and right, that will just scream for attention, check out the different colorways of the Air Force 270s because they're just so cool. I mean, they're not, not necessarily cool, but they're just so loud. I mean, this is a Safari model. I have a bunch of them. I've, I've already done reviews in the past. I'll try to put links down below if I remember to actually put links down below. But yeah, <laughs> this is the Air Force 270. So yeah, that's it for a review, guys. Before I forget, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and follow me on IG. We're giving away a brand new Kobe AD NXT Trixty. 360 in the classic Lake Lakers colorway. I mean, look at that. It looks amazing, right? It looks super nice. It's not every day that you get to see basketball sneakers like this one that will just kill it. From the build to the colorway to that red logo here at the back to that weird looking snake-like outsole and even the overall build. I mean, if you, if you pop out the, the, the model inside here, then you will really be blown away with the sneaker tech that's in this pair. I'll probably do a more detailed video on this one soon. But again, guys, we are giving a pair of, the, a pair of Kobe's away. All you have to do is subscribe to the channel, follow me on IG, hit the link down below. You have to hit the link down below because you have to leave a comment of your favorite Kobe moment in that particular post. Not this post, 
not on IG. Please do not send me your favorite Kobe moment on IG because I've been getting a lot and that's not the mechanic. That will not get you anywhere. You need to do it in the link down below. So yeah, subscribe, follow me on IG, join the contest. So with that, all of that out of the way, I just hope you guys are having a great week. You all are having a fantastic week and yeah, that's it for now. God bless. Peace. What's up?